continuing coverage topping tonight's Fox 11 News at 5. On this 17th day of searching for three-year-old Elijah Boo, we are learning new information about his mother, including additional charges she is facing involving a second child. Plus an update on the bail status of Elijah's caregiver and what the judge says won't be allowed in his courtroom. Balance News and severe weather coverage. This is Fox 11 News at 5. New charges tonight against the mother of three-year-old Elijah Vu. Katrina Bauer now faces an additional child neglect charge relating to her six-year-old daughter. Katrina Bauer alleges that she has no idea where her son Elijah is and is distraught at his disappearance. After scathing testimony from Bauer's mother, the judge denied Bauer's request for a reduction in bail today. Fox 11's Andrew Mertens was in court and brings us up to speed with the latest information. During Katrina Bauer's time in court on Thursday, we learned through Bauer's attorney that she does not know the whereabouts of her missing son, three-year-old Elijah Vu. Bauer is also facing a new charge of neglecting a child. There's a, a, a lot of um, high emotion going on, but there's also high emotion going on with Ms. Bauer. She's been worried sick not knowing where her son is. An amended criminal complaint claims that Bauer neglected her six-year-old daughter before Elijah Vu's disappearance. There is also evidence that on February 14th, she left the six-year-old unattended in a vehicle for approximately an hour in cold weather. The complaint claims that Bauer's phone showed her at Jesse Vang's apartment just before 3.15 a.m. on Wednesday, February 14th. According to the complaint, phone data shows Bauer messaged Vang saying her daughter can sleep in the car. Bauer's phone doesn't leave Two Rivers until roughly 4.30 that morning. Records from the National Weather Service shows the temperature on the 14th was a low of 27 degrees and a high of 36. Bauer's attorney wanted her client's bail reduced. In court, District Attorney Jacqueline Labrie read a statement from Katrina Bauer's mother, Jody Bauer, where she pleaded with the judge to keep her in jail. Her story always depends on her audience. At this time, rather than aligning in locating her son, she feels the need to reiterate what a good guy Jesse is and is fully defending him and his actions. The judge decided to keep Bauer's bail at $15,000 cash. Bauer's initial charge of child neglect was changed to chronic neglect of a child. New information from the criminal complaint says on Saturday, February 17th, Bauer and Vang were both in the city of Manitowoc, according to cell phone data. Jesse Vang was seen by a person alone in a bar. Surveillance footage of Bauer showed her in a quick trip alone without Elijah. The complaint says law enforcement has not been able to locate anyone other than Bauer or Vang who cared for the child. Bauer's other child was in the care of someone in Wisconsin Dells the day before. Bauer will return to court on Thursday, March 14th. Outside the Manitowoc County Courthouse, Andrew Mertens, Fox 11 News. Jesse Vang, the man who was watching uh, Vu the uh, day he was reported missing, was also in court today. Vang has yet to find an attorney, so his preliminary hearing on a child neglect charge was postponed. Vang is due back in court next week. At that time, his $20,000 cash bond will be reviewed. You can watch today's full court appearances for both Bauer and Vang within this story on our website. There you'll also find the criminal complaint detailing the new charge uh, of a child neglect facing Bauer. Near the end of Bauer's appearance, the judge addressed those in the audience wearing shirts that read, please help find Elijah Vu. And the judge said he understands why people are wearing these types of shirts, but he asked they not be worn or covered up while in his courtroom. I got no problem if people want to cover him up with a jacket, but I typically don't allow uh, those to be worn um, or exposed in the courtroom. I'll let you know going forward, you show up wearing the shirt, um, you'll be shown the door. So, uh, and it's not, it, it's not for any reason other than I'm trying to maintain the temperature uh, in the courtroom here. And now, some say they don't agree with the judge's decision, but others say they will respect his wishes. I did not like that decision, <laughs> but I will go with the judge and cover it up. It was so beyond me. You just can't see it. I will continue to wear the shirt. 
The search for Elijah Vu is expanding to Brown County now. A search of the UW Green Bay and Baird Trails is planned for Saturday morning. Fox 11 spoke with the Green Bay Police Department regarding this search. At this time, the department is aware of it, but not taking part. And as the search continues, police remind the public that there is no tip or bit of information right now that is too small to share with them. Anyone who may have seen Elijah or knows where he is is urged to call the number on your screen, 844-267-6648. I think the judge made the greatest decision on this. You don't want them to get bail, neither one of them. Like the judge said and the mom said, she knows something. So keeping her in jail is the right place for her. That's my thought on that. You've been here pretty much every step of the way here, right? I mean, since day one, and I you were here in the last court hearing, right? Could you just talk about you know, your importance of just wanting to be here? I'm here for the family. We all want what's right to find this little boy. So everything I could do, I'm gonna do. Being here, out searching, doing my job, what everybody else is doing. We all want answers. So I pray every day that we get the answers and go on from there. Today in court, we heard that her charges were upgraded, including another child involved in this alleged neglect. What was your reaction to hearing more of those details? I was shocked. I was shocked to know that there's another kid out there <laughs> and to think what that kid is going through. Is she going through the same thing that Elijah went through? Who has this kid? Them are my theories. It was heartbreaking. It still is heartbreaking knowing that there's another kid out there. We also heard a lengthy victim statement from her own mother listening to what her mother had to say wanting her bail to remain the same. As a mom, that would probably be the hardest letter to write because when I heard that the mom was going to write something, I thought, is she going to go with the daughter? But to know that she went against her own daughter, that has to be heartbreaking, that you don't even have your mom on your side. It's heartbreaking. Are you still searching today? Yes. Where at? I don't know where they're going to send us, but after I leave here, we will head there to find out. We also heard the judge say you can't wear those shirts anymore. I did not like that decision, <laughs> but I will go with the judge and cover it up. It was so beyond me, you just can't see it. I will continue to wear the shirt. <laughs> we also heard at the end, Bang asked for his bail to be modified, asking that be reduced to file a motion for that. Hearing him speak for the first time and hearing that was going to be his request, what were your thoughts on that? I didn't like it. Deny, 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 and I'm praying that the judge denies his bail too. Keep him in this place. We don't want him out. So he can leave. We still don't have answers where this little boy is. Until we get answers, they're right where they belong. So can you kind of just talk to us about, you know, what you just heard in there, you know, there may be, you know, there's more charges that they have now on the mom and stuff of that nature. I like that. I like it because he haven't been found. I like I want them to keep them both in jail until somebody knows something. You know, they tell something. One of them got to tell something. So I really do want them to stay in jail because that's not fair. Uh, everybody is out here looking for him, and if, if he's hurt, if you have done something to him, go on and tell us so we don't have to be out here looking. Give the the parents, I mean, give the grandparents something else to um, uh, think about, you know, and, and, and concentrate on, I'm, I'm sure the grandparents are happy that they kept them in jail. Yeah, the longer the better. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it is, it is, the longer the better, because if, how did the baby get out the door? How, how did they get it out the door? You know, you, if they had the door locked with all them locks, how did his little self get out that door? But he was supposed to have been in there with him 
at the bottom of the bed. So standing there for three hours, well, I don't know if that was three, that was the one that was for three hours, but he had been standing there, and you go to sleep. It looked like you would have just had him get in the bed with you or something. You know, don't just have him standing there. Of course, if, if, I just don't understand. We heard the judge talk a little bit about, you know, with, with the shirts. He, he understands why people are wearing them, but he doesn't want them showing in the courtroom. He'd like them to cover up. That's can, you under, can you talk about that? Yeah, that's understandable. Because, I mean, we're... We just came to represent, so I understand that. If we can't wear them, we won't wear them. But it doesn't stop us from wearing them on the outside, you know. So, and uh, everybody, y'all, I must say, everybody has been wonderful, wonderful. Uh, uh, coming from all over, bringing food, water, whatever, juices, uh, cakes, cookies, food, you know, all kinds of food, oh my. And uh, they have been great, great coffee, a lot of good. I brought some coffee today too. Are, uh -huh. you, a, uh, are you a mother yourself? Oh, honey, yes, Can I you have. Just talk about how difficult, you, you know, this is in terms of, you know, you, you have your own child. And yeah, I have, like I have five children, and all of them was, I had them all before the age of 25. When I turned 25, I had the last one. So everybody said they were stair steps where they was, but them steps still grew. And they they uh, grown now. Now they got children of their own. It was hard having little babies all uh, you know, just about, but um, that's how I understand that a person can get all upset if you don't have the concentration, you might would do something to them, you know, just like you don't know what's in them, the parent, you don't know, you know. As a parent, I guess, how hard is seeing this situation pulled out for you? You know, again, you have your own children. Here yeah. Now, I'll, still looking for a, a three-year-old boy. Yes. Hey, that's hard. That's hard. At night, you think about them real hard. And, uh, uh, yes, he's just a lovely, oh, excuse me, honey. Just, he's a lovely little boy, I believe to not nobody to hurt him. I think somebody might would get him and take good care of him. I hope, I pray to God, I pray to God that that's the situation because um, he's too young to just be out there. But you know what? He might, because he done went through so much uh, abuse, he he might just feel like he need to be away, you know. And but how did I still don't know how he open them doors, get all them locks off of there, and open that door. You know, did he get a chair? Did they say a chair was by the door? They didn't say, did they? Not that I heard that a chair was by the door. I don't know. But um. Whatever, what, whatever, whatever the situation is, he's missing, and we're hurting, and we want them to do something, do something, you know. Too, now, too bad you couldn't do like the Bible said. They're supposed to be tortured. <laughs> if, you know, somebody to do something to a kid is supposed to be, well, in jail, okay but you still gotta feed them.